Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. Had a little bit of rain in South Australia, so that's lovely. Might be able to get out in the garden tomorrow. So it's Friday night book haul. So I got there were a whole heap of Reader's Digests, but I only grabbed one. Good self-control and a purely for the cover. It's got the beautiful feathers on it, so that'll be nice for a bird journal. But I will go through and grab any pictures and maybe use the pages. This one is the bedtime book of 365 stories and this one is 1955. So it's got some really cool coloured pictures. And then it's got ones that are like blue and red. And so that's got some cute pictures to use in it. So I had a busy day today working in the morning and then you come home and spent a few hours on social media. And baby animals of Asia. That's a cool picture at the front of it. The pictures in this are quite big, but it, I've got to find something to do with it. <laughs> it's animals. <laughs> Maybe even glue book stuff, but some of them I could probably cut down and fold into a double page in a journal put in the centre of signatures maybe because some of these are beautiful put those ones there Black Beauty amazing how many different copies of the same book you find as well but I like the different pictures of horses in these The Frog Prince. I like the um, first page of this. These little bits. I'll try and do something with that. I think that was most of what I liked really in this one. It's got a pocket, so I'll use that as well. It's a bit glossy otherwise. And not too keen on the rest of the pictures. The Illustrated Children's Dictionary. It looks like it hasn't even been looked at, this one, on the inside. It's a shame, isn't it? 1977, look at that picture. Just that one is, is beautiful. Get that from a nice autumn journal, I think. So yeah, really cool pictures in there. And I can even use the meanings. And just a reminder, my um, giveaway for my 400 subbies is still going. So if you haven't seen it, um, look back to my couple of previous videos and you should be able to find it that is open till Saturday next Saturday so there's still a week on it if you um, want to go in you just make sure you're a subscriber like the video and comment and then you're in for the draw for the beautiful patchwork journal of mine so I've got another one of these I only grabbed one of these a little while ago the more the merrier though um, Great bases to alter, but also really good to put in a recipe journal as well. And there were magazines, classic bar ones. I got some of them last time, but I love that they're they're quite aged, so it's creamy colour on the pages, and I quite like the advertisements in there and the style of the cards as well. That'd be quite good for a masculine themed journal. 
sewing girls clothes I didn't even know I had that one sewing boys clothes I think I just grabbed a pile <laughs> of magazines and thought I'd look at them when I get home but I should be able to reuse the pattern paper and I can have a look I don't think I'd do any of the sewing so I'm not sure with those but I definitely use the pattern paper be the same with this one no doubt yeah that's got pattern paper as well and this one nice old one now that's more like the type of thing I'd want to use favorite designs for toddlers I don't know if it has a date in it but the pictures in these are usually so retro I love them it's a nice for filler pages for a sewing journal a craft journal of some sort patterns another sewing book powder puff well that's probably why it's got this around the outside oh those pictures are really cute I'd use them just because of the colors really nice <laughs> that is sweet a bit glossy I was gonna say if they weren't glossy I'd tea dye them could make some journaling cards and that out of these stitches. <laughs> that really cute. Might even be able to um, make some backing cards with the um, jumpers, the texture of them. There were a few of your Australia's Heritage. I think I've got a few folders of these put away somewhere, and you can get all sorts of good pictures in these vintage ones and that oh, look at that so yeah that's going to be really cool to go through them um, someone's been cutting bits out so now I don't feel so guilty cutting more bits out so yeah a few of those yeah, there must have been someone that enjoyed their yachting and that. I could have done with these a couple of months ago. But there's the Port Adelaide Centre Past and Present. I just grabbed all of these again because a lot of them have your more vintage style photos. And some of them are pretty cool. Canon. It's a nice old ad. Again, it is glossy, but could ink that up and use some gesso or something get the gloss off lots of old ships and that uh, South Australian Maritime Museum similar so I think this had some vintage it's got photos of old I don't know what they are Royal Mail steamships to Australia old forms and that one would be good as ephemera there's some more vintage pictures. So I'll go through, grab what I want out of that. There are a lot of these signals ones. There's all, yeah, all of these. There's some more Australian heritages. And some of these had some vintage pictures in too. Just take out the papers. Like that one. So I thought they're worth going through. And then that one must be a photo of a newspaper or something, I'm trying to get that glare off of it. So 2009, they're not really old, but got some nice old pictures. I'd like to say a big hello to Amanda too, one of my subscribers who religiously watches my book hauls on Saturday mornings while she's having a cuppa. I hope you're doing okay. Um, Adelaide Hills magazine, I've shown a few of these before. They don't usually have much um, ephemera wise, but 
some of the pictures would be right for glue booking and that usually. I have a lot of like models and that in there. I don't know why. It makes us seem up class here in Mount Barker and we're not really. Yeah, I'll just shift that up a bit. Oh, lemon natural. I can use that. So yeah, I'll go through and have a look at that and see what I can use. Machine embroidery. I grabbed a whole stack of these one day. Didn't think they'd be too good, but some of the patterns made really good journaling cards. So yeah, I'll go through that and have a look. Okay, next. I found a Canadian maple tree tag. Keep that for a gardening journal. Hanging baskets. So I'll go through and see if there's anything I want for my garden journal. Otherwise, I use the beautiful pages. I might punch some tags and circles out of them. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'll do with some of that. Could fussy cut them if I wanted to. Fruit and berries. I've seen people make um, like berry themed journals before, so this would be good for that sort of thing. That looks like an illustration up there that can be fussy cut. Collecting for an orange lemon journal too. My daughter put that idea into my head because she kept pinching all of my citrus pictures for doing one in the future herself. Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Probably won't keep this one, but <laughs> I'll blame all of you guys. I can't. Whenever they're going to the recycling bin, I have to save them, even if they're not in the best condition and that, just because they're little gold books. So, but yeah, I sort of have decided which ones I want to use now, which ones I don't. So I'll probably do a clear out sometime and see if anyone wants them. Oh, I should have seen how old that one was. 76 that one was. Uh, lawn and ground covers. So some of the ground covers might be right, but the lawns would be boring. Let's have a look. Like Clivias, Clivias, however you say it. Might circle punch those. So yeah, boring lawns. Some of those would be right. I also use these sort of things to do my little mini stamps, just for something different. This, I love the cover because it's purple and it's real little. I thought that would make a really cool little notebook or something. Such a beautiful cover for something called put downs and zingers. So I might be able to learn something through reading this. Preparing to offend in style. Ugly, are you what the cat dragged? This is terrible. When you were born, the doctor screamed. <laughs> yes, I might have to study this. Losers. <laughs> Siblings. Mum sold you to the gypsies, but they sent you back. Wanted to get a pet lizard, but mum and dad got you instead. All right. Yeah, I might have to read this one before I rip it out. <laughs> Uh, the Ugly Duckling. Now this one I will be keeping. Uh, gorgeous. I love ducklings too. So. And this one is 86 I think. Unfortunately it's been scribbled on a bit there. I think the rest of the pages are clean but look at the illustrations are gorgeous. Hanging baskets and trailing plants. It's a nice picture. Another patterns book. They cost a bit in the second hand shops these usually so a little receipt or something. Um, I'll grab this, which is 
the I Ching or Book of Changes. So it's quite beaten and battered, this one. Um, I that tells us. Love this page. I don't know what sort of paper it is. Maybe it's rice paper, I don't know. Sort of like a tissue paper. Beautiful, that is. Absolutely beautiful. That'll be stunning in an oriental journal. 67 by the looks. Someone's note. It does have some... Chinese, oh, what do you, I can't even think of what they're called, it's been such a long day, too busy fighting with people on Facebook over toilet paper today, <laughs> it's done my head in, <laughs> as if I haven't got better to do, my bad, <laughs> yeah. those things, <laughs> but they're beautiful, so, looks quite interesting this book actually. And then the other day I was fighting with someone at the book, not fighting, but someone at the book still come in and um, one of the other workers and was telling me that um, no one pirates anything anymore. Uh, that pirating is from the dark ages. And I was sort of trying to say that I don't know many people who don't. Not that I don't agree with it, don't like it, don't do it, but <laughs> don't know many people who don't so I think it's still quite rampant somehow but anyways I've got to stop getting myself involved in silly things um yeah phantoms and miniature fowl this one was heading for the recycling and then I thought I do know some people who seem to like chooks so I grabbed it it is oh that one's not black and white look at that that's gorgeous glad I grabbed it now didn't know that was in there um, maybe there's some more coloured plates. Uh, 76. But it has lots of black and whites of your chooks, so good for a farmyard journal, I suppose. Sorry if I'm on a bit of a weird angle. I just can't seem to get my camera set up right today. Can't get nothing right today. <laughs> it's one of those days. <laughs> yeah, we all have them. That's that one. Dwarf and slow growing conifers. Another one that's probably not too exciting, although I like illustrations. Still might be able to do something with them. Probably good to do like a forest journal or something sometime with that sort of thing in it. Oh look, ephemera. Gardens for children. <laughs> the caption says is that what a daisy smells like I've got a funny feeling that baby is not smelling that I think it's going in the gob eighty six this one is I didn't want really to get a good look at this one before oh they look like they're most black and white angel's trumpet isn't it that one they have to It's not much, it's all black and white, but we'll see. Don't mind the little illustrations. It's a few colours of the kids. Enid Blyton, the Enchanted Wood. Sucker for Enid Blyton books too. It's nicely aged. Don't know how old it is. It has really nice illustrations, so I like those ones. They're cute. I'll use these pages to my collaging. There's another lot of illustrations by the book though. Book on cockatiels. I used to have a pet cockatiel. He drove me crazy though because he just, he, once he learnt how to do the wit wheel, he just did that over and over and over again. So, I do love them so. Might be some cool pictures in there. 
not that cute. <laughs> Strange stories and amazing facts. Stories that are bizarre, unusual, odd, astonishing and often incredible. This would be a good one to read. My sort of thing. Sounds like me. Strange, bizarre. Odd. Yeah, I'm definitely that. 1984. But yeah, some cool pictures. So I mainly saw the pictures and thought, yeah, I'll grab that. If I haven't had a close look, that could be a bit too strange and bizarre for all I know. Oxford Australian Atlas. Um, my workmate found this and said, here you have this. So, and it's quite a nice old atlas, that one. And stuck together 1967 looks a lot older than it is I think what's in the back of it here all sorts of stuff by the looks facts about Australia sorry bumping the camera now um, is that laminated no it's just in a plastic slip Old map of Anderson Raceway, Trotting Park, Norrie Westland, Civic Park. I'm not sure. Hmm. Not Adelaide, I don't think. That's a nice old map of Australia. I like the colour on that. Oh, breaking it even more. And then, yeah, really nice map pages, which is cool. Uh, Reader's Digest, how it's done. Oh, for more front and back pages that I rip out all the time. This is a dust cover. I didn't want a book, but I loved the look of the dust cover. That would be a nice one to try with the watercolours, I reckon, something like that. It's really pretty. So more pages I can rip out news. What is this one about? A bit of everything I think. Uh, 1990. Oh yeah, so it's got science and all sorts of stuff. It's a nice one to go through and see. Sorry about the glare as usual. Good one to go through and just have a look at when you're um when it's a wet day. Love pictures like that though for a space journal. Oh cells. Oh no, that's I've seen this before. I must have had this a few hauls ago and gone, oh cells and it's not, it's a treatment plant for sewage. <laughs> yep. I don't learn. I thought I'd seen that book before. Okay, and then they had painting books. Um, so, landscape and still life. I figure I might actually learn something from some of these uh, rather than rip them up. But then if I've had enough learning from them, I might rip them up. But yeah, these look cool actually. It depends on the style to whether I grab them or not. I quite like these. That's nice. The lilies. Almost looks achievable too. That one. Somewhat, maybe. Alright. I've got a lot to learn. Uh, Super Babe. I just saw the pictures in this one, really cute. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's uh, 1987, this one. You could cut all of these out individually and do something with them. Lots of little pictures there that I can cut out. Now, next pile I'll do. Now, I found this Alice in Wonderland. I think it had song, a song 
uh, maybe a CD or something in it too. It's 1951 and I love the pictures and they're such a cool size as well. But the lovely young lady I work with collects Alice in Wonderland books and I meant to give it to her and I forgot and I told her that I'd be bringing it back next week so <laughs> I'll be sad to see it go but she's a lovely young girl and if she's going to keep it and cherish it and then it's gone back to her so put that somewhere where I won't forget to do that some Australian animals the Wales Bank of New South Wales 72 so that's cool illustrations and photos Pen and brush lettering and alphabets. Not as pretty as the other ones that I've got, but still might be something that I can go through and practice some lettering with. 1979, this one. Also make good pages, so I reckon. Australia our story book one the years 18 the years to 1838 um, so it's 87 this one so lots of vintage pictures and information it looks like it was a school book Lights, vision, the uh, city of Adelaide and surrounding districts. So again, you get some vintage pictures of buildings and that in here, which might be cool. Be interesting for me to have a look at anyway, because I live in South Australia. Strangers in Mohua, Abel Tasman's exploration of New Zealand. Not very old, but again, some pretty cool pictures. Like that one. The way we were family favourites, Australia in photographs, 1860 to 1920s, which is glossy, unfortunately. But there are some cool vintage photos. Some of them are a bit big, but the smaller ones would be alright to use. Look at the face. Faces were so creepy in the photographs from back in that era. Well, some of them anyway. Not all of them. But. Um, there was a complete digital photography book. I'll probably keep this and see if I can learn how to use my camera a bit better. Looks interesting too, so I'll have a look at that. It looks quite new, really. Let's see. 2005. There was this. That was going out. It's just, don't know what's in here either. Looks like someone's done printing. And then it's got the guides that come. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. So I'll have a look at this. Might be able to use it for some sewing journals or something. Be able to reuse the dividers. Could even make a big glue book or something with the folder. It's got lots of patterns, so I'll reuse all of that pattern paper. The blanket bits are great to um, back your journaling cards with, so I'll yeah, definitely reuse that for doing that sort of thing. And I could use that to back pages in a sewing journal as well. 
even some of the pages are um, thicker card rather than paper so I might be able to make tags and that then there were two of these A2K Fact Index I think I've got one or two of these already too but I won't, won't have them go to the bin when I've got so many um, great little pictures in them 77 I think so yeah it's just got stacks of the not all nudes <laughs> Some quite nice vintage, but they're really cool size too. Just a really nice size for tags or envelopes or little tiny pockets. And you get so many different ones. Illustrations. So that's a really cool one to have. So that's why I grabbed both of them. Then I've got the movie book. Oh, it's a big one. It's a bit mouldy on the outside pages, but the inside ones don't look too bad. 74. So, all your old movie pictures. Be some memories in this lot for people. The Blue Day book. I've got one of these as well, but the pictures are too cute to let go. Ah, that's not so cute. That's disturbing. And look at the polar bears. I'm going to cuddle. Oh, that's sweet. Rabbits having a fight. So, yeah, really cute pictures in those ones. Yeah, what are these? Isle of Sky. These look quite, no, yeah, they look quite old. Look at the beautiful adverts in them, which I love. Don't do anything with them yet, but I will. Yes, yeah, so lots of adverts in this one. I just think it has a date on it. No, I might have to look it up. The black. Oh, an Isle of Sky. That must be a map. It's quite old. Probably a map or something. Yeah, it's like one of them things. That'd be pretty neat. Never fold these things back up right. Colchester Castle, a brief guide. Um, 1954, this one. Information about an old castle. Exploring ancient Wiltshire. Georgia. Osborne. I don't know if I looked in this one before I grabbed it. 82 by the looks. There's old pictures. I probably just saw old pictures and thought, yeah, I'll have something good in, but it does look pretty boring actually. Never know though, so I'll have a better look through it. England versus France. Rugby Football Union. How can something about football have such a beautiful rose picture on there? Love that. Um, 1957, official program, one shilling. So again, more of the beautiful old ads. All about the footy teams. That Look at that. Jaeger ad. Jaeger, however you pronounce it. Love that. So that's pretty cool, really. Mm. 
What are they? Bowl? Are they cricket balls? I know, toilet seat. <laughs> I was going to say they're not quite the right shape. <laughs> I shouldn't speak until I've read it. <laughs> uh, there was, oh yeah, these come in late too. Clock repairing and adjusting. And then I go in a ditch and straighten the bin. It's like, hang on. <laughs> they must think I'm so crazy. So, let's see if this has a date on it. Love it though. It's beautiful. It's got a little bit of writing on there. Don't think it does have a date. It is very. Well, I think this would be before 50, so that's old. 23. 1923. Didn't think it was that old. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's nice. Pictures. Yeah, that was a good score. And then there was a book that looked in good condition under this. So I took this off because I thought it would be alright to sell. And then I decided to keep this because I like it. It looks cool. But then I decided to chuck that in the bin as well. So practical clock repairing. This one wasn't too old whether it even says but it does look like 70s or something doesn't or 60s so again more really cool adverts and then all these map pages of goodies lots of diagrams might be good for a steampunk fan journal i'm thinking speedball textbook I found a beautiful old one of these once and it was so nice. I think that's the one my daughter pinched. She she will give it back to me one day. 1965. So again, lots of text. I love these books. Don't know if you heard that. My dog is just here trying to whine at me. She can wait. I'm nearly finished. Oh, a textbook for midwives. I probably shouldn't open this one up too much. You never know what you'll open up to. Yeah, so. Do I have to cut that bit out? <laughs> I'll have to review that in the video. Oh no, I think it was just that. But still, that was disturbing. There were a few good picks I liked in here though that I thought might be good for a medical journal. Things like that. An alternative style of journal. And there were these links, Australia. It's got a box. I like boxes like this. Sort of things. Anything that helps me organise stuff is good. A few cool pictures in these. Some vintage. Some animals. So I'll have a look at them. Put them away after. I held the Boswell's Treasury of Fairy Tales. I wish I could get over grabbing this book. This was the fairy tale book that I had when I was young, and I got rid of it to the second hand shop when I moved. And now I've picked up another couple of them, I think. <laughs> it's like you don't need any more. I don't even think they're that great to use, really, but I'm sure I'll find some bits that I can use. Oh, that, yeah, I love that picture. So that sort of thing I really like to use out of there. And then, um, whoever liked the sailing or whatever, personal log. So it's got some nice blue card on the back. This isn't that great, but I'll be able to tea dye it and see what I can do with some of it. Navigators and shipwrecks, Australia's heritage in stamps, which is cool. So that's got some cool pictures and pictures of the stamps. Another one of the Signals magazines. And then this. Oh, I just love defining these. Southern Australian Navigator's Handbook. It's pretty gross. But I'm not sure how old it is. I'm going to try and find out. So I might be able to look online and find out. I'm thinking I might be able to um, copy this. 
I might have a date in there somewhere, so I'll have a good look at it sometime. But isn't that cool? All tightened out. So, oh, no, it's not that old. Charts of Bass Strait and Tasmanian Waters <laughs> as January 1972. Excuse my dog coughing. Still really cool, hey? And then the other one, which isn't nice either, I'll have to take the covers off because they're gross. I don't know what's on them. Was this folder that has weather map. Electronics for navigation. This looks more 70s as well. And it has all this handwritten notes for navigation and stuff. So maybe for someone who likes um, ships and stuff. To do pictures of the ships as well as some of the navigation notes and logbook. Which would be cool. So they were my finds from my recycling bin and yes I even did buy some after that so only because I'm in there we're working and I'm walking around and all these books are in my face um, so music books again I love the covers on these though too and just again they've got heaps of pages and they're the type that I like looking for and these little ones are really cool nice size pages and this one nice cover bit of writing on it but I will um, I'm not sure how old this one is. I have to look them both up again. But yeah, lots of pages in this one as well. And then I grabbed Hilda Boswell. Wasn't she the one that did my fairy tale book? Her Treasury of Poetry. And look at that. This is gorgeous illustrations seventy seven around about but you love the illustrations in this one and the robin that's really sweet. And the last thing I bought was a type of scrapbooking folder book thing. Just to get some ideas. So I'll have a look through that. You can always cut out bits and use them when I've finished with it. But otherwise, I think that'll have a good few ideas for me. So that is it for my book haul. So now I have to go and cook some dinner for myself and Sunshine. And yeah, feed the dog probably too, I think. So take care everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye.